eight years in the CFL, five of which were in Winnipeg, and you made the transition to the black and gold in the offseason. How has that adjustment been? It's been a great adjustment for me career-wise, and it's a well-coached group of guys, and I mean, the defensive group that we have has helped me get better and become a better pro. I'd say just because Steinauer is, is a really intelligent coach, and just to get some of the knowledge that he shares is priceless, and he has a really good support staff, so I'm loving it. He just makes it simple for us, and we all can just go have fun and play ball. We've had a short week, but Thursday you go up against your old team, the Winnipeg Blue Bombers, guys you practice with, your old buddies. What's it going to be like to see that team, and, and how do you prepare mentally for such a big game? It kind of makes my blood hot even just talking about playing against Winnipeg, because uh, I played out there for so long. I mean, there's nothing really personal against him because I made the choice to come to Hamilton. I wanted to be here, but I definitely would love, love, love to go out here and have a great game. I can't wait to play these boys. It's going to be... There's going to be a bunch of stuff going on out there for sure. <laughs> Talk to me about what Drew Willie and this offense brings and what you guys have to do. Drew Willie, he's been showing all the CFL right now that he is a legitimate starter in this league. He seems like he has a good command of the offense and they have a lot of tools and weapons around him. They lead the CFL in scoring offense. We have to try and limit penalties like we had a lot of penalties on specials. So just try and put them on a long field to make them go 90 yards, you know, 80 yards and make them do complete drives on us because we feel our defense is solid enough that every team that comes in to play us isn't going to be able to do that. They're a solid offensive football team. We just have to do our part, limit big plays and have fun and hit people. So first big win of the season on Saturday at home. We're going into a very short week and I hope you celebrate a little bit, but how quick is that turnaround to refocusing and setting your sights on Winnipeg and that second win of the season? For me, it was immediately. Like I went home, you know, watched a little bit of the film and then it was just on to Winnipeg. It was just the first win. It felt good to get that out of the way. Everybody was really happy in the locker room. Even just this week of practice, you know, spirits are high, you know, just we won, it's out of the way. And so we can just continue building and keep getting better and better as the weeks go. Let's talk about Tim Hortons Field. You're going to be opening that stadium just like you did in Winnipeg. Talk me through some of those emotions and have you talked to the other Ticats about that feeling? I mean, there's nothing like going out into a new stadium. You walk out of the tunnel and you walk into your, you know, onto your field and you just look around and it's just like, yes, I love it. Like these, everybody here is cheering for us. Like the only reason everyone's here is for us. Let's make them happy. Hamilton has passionate fans. They're really proud of their team. They show their colors week in and week out. They're all over Canada. <laughs> so, I mean, just to get them all packed into Tim Hortons Field, I can't wait. It's going to be electric. Thanks so much and good luck on Thursday. Thank you. I'm Sam Jaguer, and you're watching Ticats TV.